Okay, ladies and gents, back here again with another tutorial. I've lost track as to how many times I have attempted to do this because every time I find myself trying to explain it, I fail on epic proportions. Nonetheless, this video is going to address the Gaussian blur effect. It's the effect that I use to make characters disappear and reappear at a very fast pace. So, the first thing I need to quickly get out of my, out of my way is the problems that I, uh, questions that I failed to address in the previous video. When people open uh, their model viewer, sometimes they have a few character models who have this. Um, certain weapons emit a glow, and the model viewer's output is simply too high. So if you want to disable it, go to Options and select Draw Particle Effects forward slash Enchants and tick that off. That'll solve that issue. So, without wasting any more time, let's just get into this. So what I'm first going to do is record a piece of footage of Deceitful just walking. I'm going to make this fairly long. Just ignore the glitching because that's Camtasia Studio doing that. So now I have my footage and I'm now going to import that into Sony Vegas. I'm just going to sort the resolution and the uh, colored background, get that out of the way. And now I'm going to trim the first few frames because essentially the character is not doing a damn thing. So trim that and there we go. That should be fine. Right, and I'm also going to slow the clip down a bit. You can do that by holding control and holding down the left click button on the edge of your clip and stretching it out just a bit. That can just alter the speed of it. That will be fine. So, uh, one more thing I failed to address in the previous video. I showed you how to make a character walk from one side to the other, but I didn't uh, point out how to make a character walk towards the screen. That is very easily done. So you zoom out, and there's your character. This is on the first frame, by the way. You go a few frames in, and you now zoom in like so. And when you rewind the clip right from the start, so bear with me, the character will now walk towards the screen. Slowly but surely, he will walk towards the screen. There you go. Simple illusion. So my aim now is to use the Gaussian blur effect. To add that, it is very simple. You right click, choose video event effects, click the plugin chain which allows you to access your effects, and select cause a Gaussian blur. <clears throat> now don't freak out, when you first add it your character will automatically blur. I'm not sure if you can see from here, but to solve that make sure you're on the first frame and reduce the horizontal range and vertical range to zero so your character reappears. Now my aim is, is to keep Deceitful walking towards the screen as usual but to make him disappear and then reappear. So to do that, I'm gonna first show you how not to do it because this is the common mistake People will think, okay, I want my character to walk and I want him to disappear right about now. So what they'll do is they'll crank up the blur to full so the character disappears. It isn't necessarily necessarily wrong, but if you play it back, the character will gradually blur between these two keyframes, which you don't want. Now you probably can't see that as well because the clip is very short. See, it's not an instantaneous blur. But it is pretty damn quick, all things considered. But believe me, this is the method I use. As I said, it's by no means the perfect one, but it's how I've, it's how I've been able to achieve that instantaneous teleportation look. So what you do is, you go a few frames into your footage, and once you've decided at which point you want your character to disappear, double-click on this timeline here to insert a uh, blank keyframe. It's not doing anything at all. It's just sitting there. You then go three or four frames forward. Use use your arrow keys, so I'll go one, two, three, four, maybe five. Now you add the amount of blur. So in my case, I want him to completely disappear, so I'll crank the horizontal and vertical range to full. So when you watch it now, he'll walk, and he'll vanish just like that. Now you can always adjust the rate of how fast he disappears. All you have to do is move, whoops, you just have to move one of these two keyframes because the, uh, these two keyframes are saying how fast you want your model to disappear between these two points. So if you move it further, it'll take him longer to disappear. Whereas if you move the frames closer, he'll disappear more quickly. Hence the in instantaneous disappearing act, just like that. So he'll walk, disappear, and what I'll do now is I know you can't see him, but I'll insert another blank keyframe. I'll go four frames, four or five frames forward and then I'll reduce the horizontal and vertical range to tell the software to make my character reappear like so. Now I'm going to separate these a bit because that is way too fast and I'm actually going to pull this back 
these keyframes. So what you'll have now is you'll walk, disappear, and reappear. Slower than usual, I know, but to be fair, all I have to do is move these keyframes around about here, and I can achieve the exact same thing, but slightly quicker. So he'll disappear, and he'll reappear, just like that. All that's missing is the sound effects and a bit of fine tuning. That's all there is to it. The whole point of the Gaussian Blur is to just get the keyframes correct. So, as I said, just remember when you've chosen a point where you want your character to disappear, just go a few frames forward and then do the effect. Don't just do it, you know, exactly where you. Just make sure you have a blank keyframe because it comes in handy because you can then adjust how fast you want him to blur between these two points. So as I said, if I wanted a longer duration for him to reappear, all I'd have to do is drag this keyframe so his reappearing act would be m more longer and more steadier, just like that. Whereas if I wanted a faster disappearance, I'd just move it here, closer, telling the software to make the footage reappear much quicker. So, I hope this has enlightened some of you, and uh, hopefully uh, it wasn't too confusing. But if you do have any questions, or if you do want me to add anything else, please let me know. You can uh, send me a PM, leave a comment in the comment section, or head over to iwkya.co.uk, which is the hybrid machinima forums, post it in the Sony Vegas section, and I will get back to you ASAP. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. And not too shabby, eh?